hello it's Sarah and I have a project share a couple things I wanted to share I'm still working with the metal embossing and I'm pissed because I just sprayed these and my spray I don't know if it was shook up all the way I'll show you um, I have been working with this type of metal this is by Amico art emboss and it's a medium weight metal this is pewter and this is copper and I'm pretty sure they're considered 36 gauge um, but it does say medium weight okay I got mine on Amazon um, all metals are not the same as you know you guys know or those of you who have tried metal embossing you have your metal foils and different things like that. I bought this at Hobby Lobby, and it's I it sucks. This is not the right stuff. It says soft. My nails. Sorry, I'm very messy. I, I don't even have a clean side of a mat anymore. I'm so messy. But this is by it's thirty. It says thirty six gauge. So I thought I was good, and it says soft brass because I wanted another. I wanted the other color. But this is hard. This will cut you. And I talk about this in another video, but I'm not sure I'm going to post it. But this is it. And this is very, um, it is not the same as the other metal at all. Um, but I may still use it for stuff. But I, I just, it's awkward to cut. It's just, it's not easy to work with or fun to work with. Um, that being said, I have the good stuff, so I've been playing. Now, my main inspiration for this has been Alicia Hart, and she is um, in Canada, yes, and I said California previously, but she is in Canada, um, and she's worked with Lori Micah a little bit, so I've been following her on Google and her blog and everything, and um, she does classes, so I mean, I may end up going to Canada to take a class. We'll see. I've been known to do such things, but um, I've been trying it on my own for now. I've just been trying to figure it out. Uh, she has a couple videos on YouTube. She has a YouTube channel, but there's only about seven videos. And I did just order one of her kits. And her kits are very similar to these projects that I have um, let's see, her kits, this is just some of the stuff that's been on her blog. Um, she teaches, I know she teaches a journal cover, this, this is a journal cover, and I don't know if you can see it, but, um, this is so amazing to me, this is totally up my alley, um, what I want to do. So, I've been trying to create things based on these pictures that I've seen. I think that might even be a bookmark. Um, and then she has these other pieces. This is like kind of scenery. Her kits are kind of similar to this. They're probably half that size. I want to try and find one of her kits. This is one of her kits. I didn't get this one. I got one with a dragonfly. Um, and I think there's a barn in it and stuff. But see, this one I, I liked because see how she's inlaying the copper with the pewter. So that is very good. This looks like, this might, yeah, it says Alicia Hart. But this looks like it's just a metal box because you guys know I did my little version of that on the metal box. Um, and then these little tiny books, um, pre-artsy stuff class metal embossing class see these are in Canada um, but see I just take uh, screenshots when I like something so today I did a little journal cover um, but I wanted to show you if uh, I don't see see that's another journal cover that journal cover I love um, so yeah and then she also colors it with um, alcohol ink so any type of like a sharpie does it just fine or a Copics um, so these have kind of been my inspiration for the projects that I'm about to show you. Um, you guys saw I started with the um, ATC cards, and something is hap something happened to this one.
because I have no longer have that luster on here that I had that I have on this one and then, like I just said I just took these all out to spray them and I have a um, just a clear varnish spray and I don't think I shook it enough and it came out in like spatters like it didn't come out with a fine spray and so I think you'll see that but like I can't even get this to buff up anymore to a nice bright shine I just want to see if there's paint nope there's no paint on here because when I patina it I put the black paint over it and I mean I don't mind it it's okay but I do like when it shines a little bit now I sprayed this one and this was one of the last ones I sprayed this in my Santa which I showed you in a previous video and you can't quite see the spatters you can kind of see it on his hat it looks like there's like the spray made a spatter but this is a little ornament I just put paper on the back but he's still kind of shiny like I'm not hating that um, then I did so I did this one in copper and I love how the copper turned out but if you look at it the shine has I don't even know I can see it like on the trees especially it's like it looks spattered when I sealed it but they are sealed so they shouldn't tarnish I love the copper so what I've been doing is I bought these at Hobby Lobby these little wood pile blocks they're about four and a half by yeah four and a half by four and a half there were two in a pack and I mean you could use chipboard so I think I'm going to use chipboard too um, because basically you just want a hard surface to put the metal over and wrap the metal around it but um, what was I just going to do? Oh my notebook this I've been sketching out little designs so what I did was I like took the block and traced it and then I started kind of working on a design so this is the one I did today this hope one and this is pewter and I sprayed it and it I mean it definitely has a shine to it I'm glad it has the luster I love how this turned out for some reason this this raised area and this just really appeals to me that whole I would I got to keep going and continue that feel like just do as she calls it metangling um, it's like a zentangle with metal I kind of want to put green on here um, but so I just kind of it did exactly that I just kind of made a zentangle almost or um, a Zia strings right and just kind of played with this this because I did that some of these on my ATCs and I put them somewhere they're gone um, but the heart is always fun to do because I can puff them out now the thing is these kind of got crushed because I fill these after you puff them you you fill them and Alicia uses um, beeswax because it melts you can do it very quickly and it dries and it fills that that puff because it's like see it's a raised heart I did it with the the Sun too and then just the lines are raised the word is raised this one's raised but I filled the whole thing with modeling paste and I didn't wait probably long enough and it probably wasn't fully hard like I could probably just take my um, and just flatten them down a little I don't know if it's gonna work now but like that's my mistake because I totally um, should have waited like I'm just very impatient so now I have dented hearts they're raised but they're dented um, but I still I love the design like I said I love this this just for some reason that just really appeals to me I like it I like the I like the whole thing and then coloring it is super fun just adding a little bit of color here and there so that was this design um, then I did this one I didn't know where I was going with it I was gonna put a saying in the middle and I was trying some different Zentangle patterns um, I just it didn't I didn't love it um, then this one is the one I did with the copper so basically I just trait I I 
jot this down and get it how I want it pretty much and then you trace it onto a piece of tracing paper which I don't know where they are but you just trace over it and then you position it on top of your copper and oh, you can really see the like the paint see how the paint shows through because I use paint to add patina wow that's cool so anyway um, that's this is the same design as the copper and I tweak it a little as I'm going like it doesn't come out exactly like the drawing because you can change it or like see I made I made S lines on the hill instead of straight lines and um, what else I couldn't fit all the hearts so I only made a few and you know the birds shaped differently it's just really for placement I just wanted to get the hills on there where I wanted them and then you can kind of wing it um, and then what else did I do this one I had to do one with my chickens and yes I did um, these are kind of um, it could either be represent wind or clouds I really like the way that was in that um, one of, um, what is her name? Alicia, sorry, Alicia's um, pieces had that. But that's my chicken that I did on my art journal again, and I have him on here. But I just wanted to kind of do a bigger version. I think I'll do him in copper, and he'll be like one with this. And then I did, I just started actually another one that I'm going to do another word to go with the hope. So I have imagined so far, but I really, I have to figure out, I got to put this in another. That was done with this specific tool, this one, this little rolling tool. And I did it on the, sur the soft mat and just um, made it raised up. It's pretty cool. Um, and then the last thing I did was this little, I did, because you only get 12 by 9 and a half. These rolls of pewter, it's deceiving, but it's not actually, it's one sheet. It's only 9 and a quarter by 12 inches. That's all you get. So I cut that in half to like 6 by 9 and a quarter. And so I have two pieces of each, like I have one more piece left, and then this. So this was, I was like, well, what am I going to do with that? And it actually fit kind of perfect on this little, um, you know, these little guys, these uh, mini composition books. So I have them. And so I just kind of traced around the book and then just went in about an eighth of an inch around the whole thing and made myself a little mini journal. Um... And this is, I have a tutorial for this. I did this whole thing um, on camera. And so in case you're interested, I think I'll post it. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I like how this turned out. So it's just a very tiny little version of what she does, which I'm pretty sure, I mean, I could probably do it for one of these biggies. I can't tell what she does it on. Like, see, this one... This looks kind of similar, like that might be an art journal, I mean, um, a little mini one of these, right? Um, those are blocks, or these are like mounted on wood. See, those are the clouds. See the clouds? That's what I was kind of doing. Um, so yeah, here, this, this journal cover, I mean, I can't tell how big it is, but there's a lot of work in there. It's got to be at least like, let's see, this is the regular size journal compared to this. So, I mean, it's probably about the size of this um, regular composition book journal. Oops. Um, anywho, I just love them. I'm, this is like, I really want to, I'll get to this point where I feel comfortable doing, um, a big journal cover but I just wanted to see there's still I'm still new and I'm still not positive and what I just did really makes me mad because I sprayed and see this one you can't see it as much because these were I had them lined up outside 
because it's beautiful here. So I had everything lined up. Let's see, I had this one, this one, and my Santa. So he was last, maybe not, maybe it was like that. But anyway, and I just shook the can and I started on this end and it, it totally spattered where the spray is like spitting out. You know what I mean? I love this one too. I love the brass. I think the brass, is that brass copper? The copper looks really good. Like my tree looks good. I just love it. Um, the, this doesn't look as bad. You know that? This one doesn't have it. And it gets less and less as I go down. Like this one, I don't really see any. But yeah, but now I've sealed them. I'm going to go hang this one on the tree. But yeah, so I'm going to put this in my bag. And I have a little notebook. I might have to do something on the back. Um... But it was super, it's, it's fun and easy when you have the right tools and everything. It's just there's really not a lot of it on YouTube. So that's why I figured I would do that. I would put um, a little tutor couple tutorials up there for someone else who might want to try it. All right, you guys. So that's my share for tonight. I hope everyone's having a happy holiday so far. We're almost there. We're in the home stretch. And... Um, I'm going to get back to my clay, but while, you know, I'm kind of in pewter mode at the moment, you know how that goes. Um, all right, you guys, thanks for watching.